Alright friends, welcome back to another video and in this video we will be testing out Vit. As you know, Vit is a modern build tool for bundling our CSS and JavaScript assets. It is also a replacement to Laravel Mix and Vit is now a default to a newer version of Laravel. So here in the documentation on bundling assets, here is a section. It is saying that check out Laravel Bridge for the fastest way to get started with Laravel View and Vit. So we will be doing this. So first of all, let's have a fresh installation of Laravel. So we can simply do Laravel new and the project name is let's say Laravel Vid. If you do not have Laravel installer, then you can go over here and use Composer create project. So let's wait for this. Now let's set into Laravel Vid project. And first of all, we need to install Laravel Breeze. So we can do Composer require laravel slash bridge and let me click on this link check out laravel bridge and to install bridge we need to run this command called psp artisan bridge install and for the front end framework we'll be using view so let me paste it over here and it got installed so we can do npm install to install the dependencies now let's do npm run dev and it is so fast the dev server is running at this uh, localhost port 3000 and our laravel application is running on this url so here some of you may got confused so if i copy this link and paste it over here then this will not work and if i copy this url and paste it over here then this will not work to get this link working we need to either have home state or valid uh, on my machine based on our operating system so i do not have that on my machine so we need to change this url so first of all let me open up this project on code editor and let me go to .env file and over here it is taking that app url from here so we need to change this to localhost port 8000 okay and if i save this go over here and it got changed automatically over here it is saying localhost 8000 and here it is saying localhost 3000 uh, which is a bit confusing so here we have two different urls and this is for the front end assets and this is for our laravel application right and if we visit localhost 8000 it will still not work because remember we need to start our laravel project using psp artisan serve so we can do psp artisan serve and our laravel development server got started and it is on port 8000 now if i refresh this page then it will work and which is fine and let me go to login page and now the interesting thing is if I go to login.view which is a view component and let me change over here the value for email to email address and save it and if I go over here and it got instantly sensed without refreshing the page this is quite amazing and really fast let me try this again by changing one more thing over here and let me change this to login and save it go back and it got sensed instantly see how cool this is now let me show you where this uh, url is being used so over here we have this url local url and let me do view page source over here and to get and to get the assets here it is using localhost uh, port 3000 and wait and then client okay so to get those assets that url is being used and if we do npm run build let me do that npm run build for uh, production builds and those build files are inside a public build assets and these different files and now if i refresh the page and over here let me refresh it as well and we are getting the compiled javascript and css accessed over here and we can access those and for production it is using app url and getting those 
assets uh, inside of build assets and this app.css and here we have this number which is a version so this much for this video i hope you learned some things from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one